glows the dragon is blue once again and um <clears throat> I'm sorry that I don't exactly sound as enthusiastic as I normally do, and the reason for that is because this is a tribute to a man who recently passed away, and a man that inspired me, and a man I greatly admired, and his name was Roger Abbott. He was uh, the co-founder of a Canadian comedy series known as Air Force, also known as Royal Air Force, and... Um, it's come as an incredible shock to a lot of us who loved the series, and we know it ended this year or a year before, roughly. And um, and the reason he passed away is um, the reason I had no idea. I don't think anyone else did, unless only his family probably knew um, that he was suffering from leukemia for 14 years. And I don't know. It's come to a great shock because I loved all of his work, his sketches. I went back to watch the old stuff he started in the 70s. And I just don't know what to say. The man is an incredible man. He, his work is phenomenal. He did a lot of stuff for charities. Incredible. I think probably his best work, at least to me, was the sketches uh, called uh, a Canadian moment where he would be in uh, Tim Hortons with uh, a lot of the with the original four that helped start the show and you would his catchphrase would be oh yeah oh yeah and and pour a ton of sugar in his coffee yeah, that right. you betcha. tell me about it oh yeah oh yeah and um, another one is uh, one of my personal favorites is um, was the OPEC meeting during the crisis a few years ago. We are used to a standard of living. How will I survive without private concerts from Tom Jones? Who will he throw his panties at? Like, how can you top that? That's just incredible. But I think the one who was most well known for was probably his um the best was when he played as um, Queen Elizabeth II and I think this is most famous it's just unexpected and effing hilarious I have a new hip Chaz <laughs> for those who don't know about the show it's quite obvious why because it's Canadian and I don't know if they air it in other places like uh, in the United States, they may be have aired it in the UK, but I'm not certain. But go on YouTube, go find it. And yesterday, uh, if anyone's watching CTV or Global, they were actually airing a one hour tribute to him, including clips in this actual video, except the extended full sketches. So you can maybe find that on YouTube. And um, I want to say that it's been a great loss to me, it's been a great loss to Canadians and to comedy. And I don't think we're going to find another guy like him. Roger, from the bottom of our hearts and minds, we want to say we will miss you. And you always live on in the hearts of us Canadians. Thank you. This is Dragon East Blue saying Ceylon. Rest in peace, Roger Abbott. Thank you for giving me your time tonight. My pleasure, Peter. Uh, want to bite my Toblerone? <laughs> the, uh, the guy who was here... Uh, Last, left a whole lot of them in the basement. Should I try that line again? Ask me if I'd like a Toblerone, would you? Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> Want to lick my Toblerone? <laughs> the uh, last guy who was here left a whole basement full of them. <laughs> Prime... <laughs> I was ready for bite, I wasn't ready for lick.